I'm joined now by Dr. Ann Becker. She's a professor in the Department of Global Health and Social Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Thanks so much for joining us, Ann. My pleasure. So you have been doing a ton of studying in Fiji, uh, looking at mass media and eating disorders. So why Fiji? Well, that's a question I often get, and people want to know. Fiji's this tiny little speck mm -hmm. in the middle of the South Pacific. It's over 10 thousand kilometers from where we are right now and there are fewer than a million inhabitants and so what can this small-scale indigenous population teach us about eating disorders that we don't already know and um, part of the answer lies in the fact that they are so remote so Fiji was one of the last countries on the planet to actually have broadcast television brought in and that didn't happen until the mid 1990s so what were your findings well, so we had conducted studies in a number of waves, and before we conducted the first study, which was right when TV came, we had actually spent a pretty good amount of time understanding the context in Fiji, and Fiji was also interesting because of its resilience to eating disorders before that time. So by that I mean that in Fiji and just like elsewhere in the South Pacific, in Polynesia, you often find that cultures traditionally value large bodies. And as a result, um, or you know, plausibly as a result, eating disorders were rare if non-existent wow. in Fiji prior to TV, and there was no correlate in the indigenous nosology for eating disorders, and clinicians also didn't see them in clinic. So we think eating disorders just didn't exist in Fiji, mm -hmm. and it gave us a nice kind of counterfactual ideal to what right. we see in the U.S. and Canada, for example. Okay, so post-TV, did you see some changes? We did, and and we I actually didn't expect to see changes. I happened to be in Fiji in 1995, right when the government announced that they were going to broadcast for the first time. So we set up what is called a uh, it was a prospective two wave cohort study. We looked at two schools in Fiji, and we just looked at the Itauke or uh, indigenous population. All girls were invited to participate in 1995, right before, right as television was being introduced. Mm -hmm. So they were our unexposed group. We did the same thing in 1998, three years after. So the cohort, the school cohort, they were different girls, but same school, same mm -hmm. ages. And the, this cohort was different because it had been exposed to TV. And we measured the differences. And the striking indicator um, that I want to talk about is the is the change in the percentage of girls who actually had purged to control weight in that period of time. And the reason I focus on that is that when we assess um, behaviors across cultures, sometimes we get into what's socially normative. And um, I wanted to choose an indicator that was clearly pathological mm -hmm. no matter what culture you were in, and that was purging to control weight. Wow, very interesting work. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Ann Becker. It's my pleasure. Have a fantastic Thank rest you. of the conference. Thanks so much.